Taiwan. I'm Christian Mirabakal from the Philippines. Ako nga pala, si Stephanie Tapio from the zone. Makya mapeta si Lecano lang ang niya akong ngalan at si Chiptan Denver ang baksal na kami na tanaw. Kasaya ang di mapati And now, we're going to talk about the history of the Philippines. The Philippines is named after King Philip II of Spain in 1556 and 1598. It was a Spanish colony for over 300 years. The Philippines is an archipelago of 7,000 islands. Between 3,000 BC and 2,000 BC, people learned to farm. In 10th century, Filipinos traded with China. Then, in 1521, Ferdinand Magellan sailed across the Pacific. He landed in the Philippines and claimed them for Spain. Magellan baptized a ship called Humabon and hoped to make him a puppet ruler on behalf of the Spanish crown. Magellan demanded that other ships submit to a Humabon but one ship named Lapu-Lapu refused. Attractions. Attractions are the places, people, events, and things that make up the object of the tourist gaze and attract tourists to destination. Therefore, attraction are the core component of tourism. Kapag sinabi natin attraction, syempre na-attract kayo sa isang bagay kasi nga napakaganda ng physical appearance niya or yung doob niya or yung example sa crush natin, di ba? Crush natin siya kasi nga napakabuting yung tao sa gayon. So dito naman sa Pilipinas natin, meron tayong example din ng attraction. Syempre marami. Example na lang is yung Boracay. Alam naman natin that Boracay is one of the small islands here in the Philippines pero napaka-famous siya kapag sa mga turista, di ba? Maraming foreigners mga pumupunta sa Boracay kasi yung Boracay na yon napakaganda ng view tapos lahat ng stress mo siguro is mawawala kasi nga napakaganda ng island, napakamalinaw at saka mayaman siya sa mga coral reef. So ayun. So yung yung attraction here in the Philippines is nakakatulong siya sa economy natin. Kasi yung contribution nito is para lakas revenue of the economy. Hindi lang yon, nagkakaroon din tayo ng mga creates thousand of jobs and develop the infrastructures of the country, o di ba? Hindi lang yon, napaka-importante talaga ng attraction in tourism kasi the main purpose of this is to grab the attention of the customer. Once na nag-grab na yung attention nila, marami ng income na papasok sa business mo at lalago ng lalago yung business mo. At dahil dito, tataas yung economy natin. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just landed at Ninoy Aquino International Airport, Cebu Pacific Air. Welcome you to Manila. On behalf of your flight, the crew headed by Captain Pimentel with First Officer De Leon and the rest of the team, we thank you for choosing Cebu Pacific, your airline of choice. Travel Industry The travel industry refers to the numerous aspects of the wider service industry which cater for the needs and desire of those who have traveled from one part of the world to another. Travel industry o industriya ng paglalakbay. In terms of Filipino, ito ay kilala bilang journey ng isang tao. Dahil ito yung tao na pumupunta lamang sa ibang lugar para magkaroon ng iba't ibang kaalaman at ibang experience upang maikwento nila sa kanilang pamilya. Tourism industry 
Tourism is generally regarded as the act of traveling to a different location for either business or pleasure, education, and visiting purpose. Tourism involves a road trip rather than travel in one direction only. Tourism industry o industriya ng turismo. In terms of Filipino word, ito ay kilala bilang vacation ng isang tao. Dahil ito yung mga taong pumupunta ng ibang lugar para makakita ng iba't ibang tanawin o atraksyon na mayroon ng Pilipinas. What is the difference between tourism industry and travel industry? In tourism industry, to see a beautiful land or city to relax their body and mindset. In travel industry, by written or documentary film, help the self to familiarize where did she go. Pleasant morning everyone. Our topic for today is resources. So, what is resources? Resources, A, is stock or supply of money, materials, stuff, and other assets that can be drawn on by a person or organization in order to function effectively. As a human, we have a three basic resources. The first one is food, the second one is water, and the third is shelter. So, these three are the basic resources that you need in survival. In tourism, also, we have air resources. So, I primary and secondary. So, first, what is primary? The primary resources are natural resources, cultural resources, and social resources. And the secondary resources are accommodation sector, catering sector, travel organization sector, transportation sector, entertainment sector, information sector, supplementary service, facilities, and service infrastructure. Types of tourism in the Philippines Types of tourism There's a lot of types of tourism here in the Philippines, but I only choose three types. But before that, what is tourism? Tourism is one of the world's fastest growing industries in a major foreign exchange and employment generations for many countries. Therefore, it is one of the most remarkable economic and social phenomena. In a simple information, tourism is an activity for recreational and leisure activity for people. Okay? So, therefore, there are three types of tourism. Domestic tourism, eco-tourism, and camping tourism. So, Tourism is very important to all people. For example, iniwan ka ng crush mo. So the only thing that you need to do is mag-travel ka. Pero wag lang ngayon kasi may COVID. First is domestic tourism. This involves travel of tourists within the place of residence, like Cebu to Boracay. Therefore, domestic travelers would like to enjoy nature, culture, and to recreate as well. So ayun nga, simple information about domestic tourism is magta-travel ka lang papunta sa ibang lugar pero sa loob lang ng bansa mo. For example is, kayo ng jowa nyo, LDR kayo. Ikaw, taga Paranaque, pero siya, taga Palawan. So ang gagawin mo is, magta-travel ka papapuntang Palawan. So sad, ikaw pa mag-a-adjust. Na joke lang, pero wag mo na ngayon kasi nga may COVID. Pero ay tinatawag natin, domestic tourism. Second, ecotourism. This involves travel to an ice-bound destination and undisturbed natural resources. The purpose of this is for education, recreation, and advocate sustainable development with community. For example, kayo ng jowa nyo, naghahanap kayo kung saan nyo gusto mag-date. So, dali mo siya sa maraming puno at maraming bulaklak. Siguro, sasaya kayo yung dalawa. Dayok lang. Pero kapag sinabi natin ecotourism is, gusto natin makita yung kagandahan ng nature natin or yung environment natin. So, ay ibig sabihin ng ecotourism. Lastly, camping tourism. This is common as another way to spend that in a destination without spending a big amount of money for accommodation. O di ba? Camping tourism guys ay mahalaga. Kasi dito tayo natututo kung paano mag-disconnect sa technology natin. Para malibang din naman yung utak natin. Kapag sinabi natin camping tourism is mag enjoy kayo ng jawa nyo kasi kayo lang dalawa sa tent. Then, no clap. Guys, the purpose of this is for education and recreational as well. Napakaganda talaga ng mga types of tourism dito sa Pilipinas. Because nakakatulong to sa pagtaas ng ekonomi natin. The Philippines is very religious country, so we have many churches here. But we know every Filipino have belief that we should appreciate. So let us continue to pray and ask God for guidance because even though we have different beliefs, there is only one God. 
So let's go to the most visited church in the Philippines. Number one, and the most visited church in the Philippines is Kamay ni Jesus. Kamay ni Jesus is located at Lokban in Quezon. Kamay ni Jesus is a popular tourist church destination in Quezon. The church is claimed to be healing church, which means is devoted believe the healing prayers come true in Kamay ni Jesus. Bukod sa pagiging kilala sa pagaling nito, ang kamay ni Jesus ay sikat din sa 300 hakbang na pagakyat sa malaking ribulto ni Jesus. Sinasabing halos 200 lamang ngunit binibilang at tinatan siya ng mga hakbang na nasa 300. Mahalagang tandaan ang ilan sa mga hakbang ay matarik kaya kailangan mo ng maraming lakas upang makaabot sa taas ng tuktok dahil pag naabot mo ito, maraming blessings ang darating sa iyo. Kaya sinasabi nila na ang kamay ni Jesus ay isa sa pinakamagaling na ribulto to in the most visited church in the Philippines is San Agustin, located at Intramuros, Manila. San Agustin is built in 1595, the oldest church in the Philippines. It exhibit remarkable features such as retabulous altar of high baroque style and separating crypto-collateral chapel Ang San Agustin Church ay nagdaan ng maraming siglo at ito ay nakapagpatotoo na 400 sa pamangahala ng Espanya sa bansa nakaligtas ito sa maraming pagbabomba at lindol. Sa pumagitan ng hindi mabilang na pagsasaayos nito, itinasama ang iba pang mga impluensya sa kabila ng mga disenyo ng Pilipino, Pilipino at Chino. Malinaw na simbahan ay saksi sa pagsikat, pagbagsak ng Pilipinas. Number 3 and the most visited church in the Philippines is Christ the King Cathedral, located at Tagum Double del Norte, which is the biggest cathedral in the Philippines, and where the world's largest and longest rosary can be found. Ang Christ the King Cathedral ay mahigit kumulang na 53 kilometers sa hilaga ng lungsod ng Davao itinayo noong 1993. Here's more, Our Lady of Prancha at Naga City, Bicol. Basilica ng Nazareno at Quiapo, Manila. Baroque Church, Manila, Santa Maria. Mahay Hai Church in Mahay Hai Laguna. And we're going to talk about the most visited in the Philippines. White Beach and Boracay. There is no shortage of pristine beaches in the Philippines. But if we are looking for a more active beach, one of the most places to visit is White Beach in Boracay. This is the most populous beach on the island. And this is the Manila Historical Sightseeing Tour. Port Santiago in the Intramuros. Manila is an exciting and vibrant city that is thriving metropolis surrounded by centuries old churches and colonial history. It is easy to walk around Manila on your own or take a guided sightseeing tour of the oldest district. The Intramuros or Walled City where you'll find some of the most significant tourist attractions. <music> And this is the Coron Palawan. The shunken ships to explore on a Sark God Island in Coron are some of the best diving sites in the world. The wrecks are at varied depths that are suitable for both deep water snorkeling. Many of the shipwrecks are from an attack on the Imperial Japanese Navy in 1944. 
deep divers will want to view the Akitsushima Maru and there are so many shipwrecks to explore that you may want to consider staying for several days and it is a 5 minute boat to ride. To many dive sites, if you are new to the island, you may want to consider booking a driver trip that can get you to the best spots. And lastly, this is the Mayon Volcano in Albay. The Mayon Volcano in the Albay province in Luzon Island is a masi in the Philippines. It is an active volcano with an elevation of the more than 2,400 meters. The Mayon Volcano has a perfect cone peak. The most visited wellness in the Philippines. Most visited in the Philippines in wellness. So first, what is wellness? Wellness in tourism refers to trips that are taken by tourists with the principal purpose being to improve their health and well-being. So, ang pagpunta ng mga turista sa isang wellness tourist ay hindi lang sa kanilang pangkasiyahan, but to improve their health and well-being. So, let's know what is the most visited in the Philippines in wellness. So, first, we have Anya Resorts and Residence in Tagaytay. So, what to expect? Anya will never claim to serve only organic chair. Not everything that is naturally grown is organic. The term is also easily thrown around a days and with little caution. At Anya, we pride ourselves for embarrassing the all-natural lifestyle. And this is the explain of marketing head Joey Silvestre. So that is the first. And the second is the farm in San Benito in Lipa, Batangas. What to expect? The healing and restoration are two things that the farm at San Benito does not take light. Lauded as one of the first wellness destinations in the country, the farm offers guests the opportunity to restore and rejuvenate within a sprawling jungle landscape. So that is the second. So we have the last. And the last is Eagle Wellness Center at Balisin, Iceland in Quezon. What to expect? Eagles located at Mykonos village of Balaisin, Iceland. The Eagle Wellness Center is a premium wellness destination that distinguishes itself through state-of-art medical facilities and world class. Ang dami mo naman, Uban! Oy! Nai-stress kasi ako sa'yo. Tumatanda tuloy ako lalo. Ha? Bakit naman? Na-attract kasi ako sa'yo eh. Sana ikaw din. Portal! Attractions! In the, the Philippines. Philippines! There is a lot of urban attractions here in the Philippines. But before that, what is urban? Urban areas are very developed, meaning there is a density of human structures, such as houses, commercial buildings, roads, bridges, and railways. In the simple information, urban is a city or town. Right? So let's recap. What is attractions? Attraction are the places, people, events, and things that make up the object of tourist grace and attract tourists to destination. So, what are the urban attractions here in the Philippines? We have National Museum of Philippines, Rizal Park, Manila, and Intramuros. First is National Museum of the Philippines. The museum which was established by the Philippine government has collection from various fields of science such as anthropology, archaeology, 
Botany, Zoology, and Geology. Okay? National Museum of Philippines are very important to safeguarding of important cultural properties at dito rin natin makikita yung history ng ating bansa. Napakaganda talaga ng National Museum kaya maraming turista ang pumupunta dito. Therefore, when the Spanish and American colonizers team established the precursor to the modern economy, it shaped not only the Filipino way of life but also shaped the identity and history of the nation. Second, Rizal Park Manila are also known as Luneta Park. Rizal Park is a park specifically established to commemorate the services of Jose Rizal who was one of the heroes of independence in the Philippines during colonial period. Therefore, Rizal Park is a tourist attraction because it is one of the largest parks in Asia. Pwede mo dun dalhin ang jowa mo kung hindi pa kayong dalawa nakapunta para magkaroon naman kayo ng dagdag kaalaman at kung anong history ng Rizal Park at kung sino ba si Jose Rizal. O diba? Natuto ka pa at di ka lang lumalande. Charot! Moreover, Rizal Park has always played a role in the country's history, development and consciousness, and has been an integral part of the urban fabric and Philippine society. Lastly, Intramuros. Intramuros is an old city area which is a legacy of Spanish colonial era that tappers can find in Manila, the capital of the Philippines. Ituturin natin na kayamanan ng isang bansa ay yung mga history at lugar na pinayarihan nito. Example ng Intramuros is yung Rizal Shrines, di ba? Ito ay isang museum na kung saan dedicated sa life works ni Jose Rizal. So yun guys, again, the three or the attractions in the Philippines are National Museum of Philippines, Rizal Park Manila, and Intramuros. Ay, init naman dito. Wala pa may pupunta dyan. Alam ko, gusto mo lang gumala. Ay, init na. Kaya, pupunta tayo sa top destination ng Pilipinas. Philippines is truly home to the thousand of amazing island that never disappoint. Believe it or not, there's only one place in the country that is famous for having more than 100 paradise for beach lovers. So, let's go to the top Philippine destination. Number one at the top Philippine destination is Boracay, located as Western Visayas. Boracay Island was originally home to a Atay tribe. Boracay is part of a Aklan province which became an independent province on April 25, 1956. Before outsiders discovered Boracay Island, it was already inhibited by people called with Ati who belonged to a Southern Asian ethnic group labeled Negritos by the Spanish. Ang Boracay din ay kilala bilang staycation na gustong mag-relax at magkaroon ng privacy ng ibang tao. Dahil kapag pumunta ka dito, walang pakailamanan kung ano ang susutin mo. Dahil ito nga ay tinatawag nilang Paradise Island. So, at the top Philippine destination is 100 Island National Park located at Alamizos, Pangasinan. In the Northern Philippines, 100 Island National Park also known as Kapulo-Puloan or Taytay Bakes. You can dip at the beautiful beaches and see amazing nature spot. It home to place that a perfect rational activities for swimming and trekking to to sightseeing. Kinala sa buong mundo ang 100 Islands National Park dahil sa meron itong blue-green water of Ligayan Gulf at may masaganang color reef na may color crema na buhangin na nagbibigay saya kapag ito ay humahakbang. At meron din silang friendly local islanders. At the Philippine destination is Sagada, located at Mountain Province, Philippines. Sagada is the most Famous for hanging coffins, it is a traditional way for burying people that is still utilized. Popular activities include trekking, exploring boat caves and waterfalls, bonfires, picnics, rappling, visiting history sites, etc. that can do to Sagada. Ang Sagada ay may maaraw ngunit malamig na panahon. May mga luntiang tanawi na lumilipat sa simoy ng hangin at dagat ng mga ulap. Bilang isang napagandong lugar kung saan pwede kang mag-senti moments. Ika nga nila, Sagada is the best broke is the best for the broken hearted people. Dahil marami kang activities na pwedeng gawin, kaya hindi mo maiisip ang jowa mong nang iwan sa'yo. Kaya saan ka pa, Sagada ka na. And there's more. Subic at Sambalis, Philippines. Chocolate Hills at Bohol Province. Pagudpod Beach at Ilocos Norte. Venice Grand Canal at Taguig City, Metro Manila.